Alright yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. We're back at it again with another video, another episode of Q-Tember. If you guys are new here and you don't know what Q-Tember is, basically I'm uploading every single day in the month of September. So there's gonna be 30 videos in 30 days. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And there's gonna be a bell button that pops up. And if you click that, every time I upload, you will be notified. Anyways, we got a special video for today. I really like the way this turned out, so I'm really excited for this. Basically, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can sound exactly like Can Can in his new song Kickback in FL Studio with 100% stock plugins. Like I said, I think this turned out really well, so I think you guys are gonna like this one. I think it's probably my most accurate preset yet, so let's just jump in FL Studio and show you guys how it sounds. But before we do anything, I'm gonna just let you guys listen to this so you get an idea for what this preset actually sounds like. So here's the project right here, and if you guys do want to grab this preset, it's available at quintabobbit.com. I have a link in the description, and it should also be popping up like somewhere right there. If you do grab it, you're going to get these two files right here, and all you're going to do is go into your FL Studio, pull up your finder or whatever, and wherever you have the downloaded file, and you'll just open up your mixer track, and just drag this FST right onto whatever slot you want to record on. Boom, and as you can see, this is an effect bus, and the other one is called the lead. Drag that on, and what you're going to do is click the lead track, and then over here where you route the effect bus, you right click this little button right here, click route to this track. And then you're going to want to bring this knob down to about 20%. You could adjust it how you like it, but I think 20% was like the perfect amount of reverb and delay. But other than that, all you have to do is this slot right here will probably be empty for you guys. So you could just go to more plugins and type in pitcher. And that's just FL Studio's version of Autotune. Obviously, I was using Autotune Pro. And just have your retune speed all the way up. And then you're going to want to bring this menu right here down, select your input. My input is right here. So whatever your mic line is, you just select that. And then on this track, on your lead track, you want to hit this button right here called arm disc recording. And you'd be ready to record. All you'd have to do is hit this button, hit space bar, and you're set. You can record. Yeah, so as you can see, I feel like I actually got this preset pretty damn accurate. The only thing is my voice just isn't as raspy as his. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, like I said, this is pretty much plug and go. You download the two presets. Pull up your finder and you literally just drag that lead on there and go you're set like that all right guys so this is probably a pretty short video i just wanted to get this one out show you this preset because i was just pretty excited with how it turned out but i had a cool video recommendation for the next video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that anyways if you guys can do me a favor and follow me on instagram just because it's a great spot for you guys to stay up to date with what i'm doing and i also post like coupon codes and stuff like that on my story but as for right now that's all i got for this video so i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video Peace. Touch the racks and add it up.